Hello there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will going to talk about the exist function. So exist function is a very useful function in scenarios like where you want to check whether a field is already loaded or not and you want to check or you want to specify some condition. Also since it checks the condition whether a field is already loaded or not. You can use it along with the if or the where clause. So let's see some data and scenario about this. So what do we have uh, over here is the employees table and we have citizens table. Now over here in the employee table we have Bill, John and Steve. But in citizen table, we have the Bill, we have Mary, we have St uh, Steve, Lucy and John. So what do we want is basically uh, that we want only those employees where the information of the citizen is also present. Like for example, address is also present. So to do that, we can utilize the exists function and get it the desired outcome. So let's say what we need is emp underscore address is a new table that I'm creating to get that details and I'm saying load and then after that we want all the you know names the citizens where which are also employees so with I'll take name as employee comma address resident citizens where exist employee comma name all right so a lot of things going over here so first of all we are creating a new table where we are taking the name from here and we are uh, renaming it as an employee and then address and then we are taking the resident as a citizen but in the access we are comparing the name with employee that means we want only those 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 employees which are present in the citizen table as well so once you are done you hit a semicolon over there and then you can drop the earlier table so drop employee drop table the tables um, citizen comma employees so hit save after that and let's load and test it so here we are close and over here what we will do is create a table at the dimension which is I think uh, we had the employee and uh, we have one more dimension which is address all right so we got only bill john and steve and their respective addresses new york miami and chicago so over here bill john and steve were present and we only got the address where employee exists in the name table sorry the name field so this is one quick way by which uh, you can utilize the exist but you can utilize it like I said in the starting in the if condition as well to check a particular condition but uh, just wanted to demonstrate how you can utilize the exist function and uh, get the desired output so if this is what you are looking for uh, from your backend script then you may need to utilize the exist function like this so that's about it and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.